Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, today I'd like to share great news. Uh, Receipt Assistant, our plugin for ChatGPT, uh, was approved by ChatGPT and now is uh, available in ChatGPT plugin store. So you can go and uh, use it if you have uh, ChatGPT Plus subscription and you have access to the plugin store. And I'll show you today how it works and <clears throat> also show how um, Receipt Assistant works in a combination with uh, another ChatGPT plugin uh, to render charts. So uh, we are in GPT-4 section and uh, uh, I have ChatGPT Plus subscription, so I have access to the plugins. And <clears throat> I already installed Receipt Assistant and also installed another plugin called Wise Charts to render charts. <clears throat> and then if I go to the plugin store, um, and if I go to the install section, I can see there is some more information about assist Receipt Assistant available, like description. There is a uh, uh, link to the email and also link to the uh, legal info. Uh, and over here, um, uh, some below you have also a link to, the, to our website. Uh, okay, so now let's see how how uh, this plugin works. I already uploaded a couple of receipts and uh, let me try and, and uh, ask the question like, uh, hey, uh, please uh, fetch all receipts and display uh, store name, let's say, and then also I would like uh, to display besides the store name uh, receipt total and maybe and receipt date um, and I would like to see the table so it's table format ordered from all this date like that so I'll send this request to ChatGPT and it understands that um, I want to work with uh, Receipt Assistant plugin and it makes a call to the plugin to the plugin backend uh, to fetch all uh, receipts information and this is what we get. Uh, there are five receipts stored now for my user and uh, it prints out uh, prints out the table and uh, data is ordered uh, based. Uh, on a date as expected. There is some comments that it was not able to uh, parse uh, November here because probably uh, the OCR uh, uh, instead of zero, uh, instead of O, the zero was included here, but this is minor. Uh, we There is no need to pay attention for that in this case. So we got information about the receipts, we got names, totals, and dates and all the information is ordered as requested because um, in the backend database obviously the order when uh, in which data is saved is different and uh, uh, the ordering was done by ChatGPT in this case and here the call to to the backend was executed and all the data was uh, fetched and returned back to ChatGPT about the invoices and then Based on our uh, question, ChatGPT was able to extract only a portion of the fields and do the ordering. So this is how it works. And if you would like to, we could uh, add another receipt. Uh, for example, I could say that uh, um, want to add one more receipt. And in this case. Um, uh, chat GPT would ask again plugin what user should do to add new receipt and now it's sometimes it's a bit uh, there might be a delay yeah okay now the call is executed as expected and we got back the response that to upload new receipt you should follow a link and uh, where the fi a new file can be uploaded and for example this was the request and this is the response from the plugin backend and if I would go over here uh, through the link then this would open a uh, plugin UI application for file upload here we could either select uh, through 
some existing file or or we could upload a new one so if I would go on click I should press browse files first and over here I would go to docs and say that uh, I'll go with this old navy maybe received and I upload it and once upload happens then um, the, in the backend we do also OCR extract uh, text data and <clears throat> later array of text data is sent to the chat GPT for the key value pair relationship analysis so we, we don't send obviously a uh, raw image to chat GPT we extract data with the um, Paddle OCR in, in um, Sparrow backend and uh, we based on the key we send back the array of text data for the analysis so we can say that here this is the key for new file and now <clears throat> chat GPT through the plugin will make a call to the backend and fetch this array of data to the uh, chat GPT and chat GPT does the out of the box the key value pair uh, mapping like it displays what is the transaction number what is the total amount and what are the items purchased and so on so there are quite quite many items on this uh, specific receipt. And okay, this place all the items. Fine, and we can say also what is the total amount for this receipt. Okay, the total amount was uh, 110. Fine. And okay, let's say let's store this data for future use. And now, <clears throat> okay, if we open here, we can see that it creates uh, JSON with uh, all the information about the receipt and with key value pairs assigned. And now, as soon as this JSON is constructed by ChatGPT, is being sent to the backend and and, and stored to, to to the database. And let's see if okay, we could we can ask if total value total amount was included let's see yeah it says it was and we can double check that we can search here yeah it was <coughs> total amount was included so that's fine this is uh, correct and now what we can do we can fetch again all the data from uh, all the receipts so now we should have six receipts and let's say that uh, could you fetch again all receipts data and display it in the same way as before let's see if it, if it would be smart enough to do that <clears throat> yeah, it actually remembers the context. It says uh, it displays a table with the fields as we would expect. And here is the old navy, this new uh, receipt with correct total and correct date. And we got uh, six receipts ordered in the correct way. So now we could say that uh, let's see this, let, let's display this date in the chart. Say this. In chart, include store name and receipt total, and I'll say strip uh, 
currency info because we're not interested in that. And now because I selected uh, this chart plugin also to be used in the same uh, session, uh, ChatGPT understands that I want to work with the chart now and it makes <coughs> a request to the wise charts plugin and sends the data uh, to be displayed on the chart. So this is the data it sends uh, information about the stores and uh, uh, yeah, and we get back, uh, we get the chart, and uh, in this case we render it as, uh, as a bar chart. And there's option also to view the chart on separate window. So uh, we, uh, all the information is ordered by date, and all navy was uh, the most expensive received. And we also can say, uh, could you display the same data as say donut chart and now we make another call to the white chart with the same data and we would expect to get uh, either pie chart or the donut chart as, as uh, in the response so we give we give a moment to white charts to render the data and it seems it was executed correctly and we got back the response. So we can see now uh, pie charts uh, with Old Navy making the significant portion of the of the expense and we can also if you go and view the chart on a separate window then we can uh, also um, move mouse around the mouse, uh, around the chart and uh, have this uh, hints uh, chart hints display correct label next to the uh, chart element okay so thanks for watching and my point was to show uh, in this quick video how uh, receipt assistant plugin works and how to integrate the plugin with other chat gpt plugins like uh, for the data display for the chart rendering because we get uh, a lot of data, numeric data in uh, um, Receipt Assistant and uh, it's a nice use case when you are able to render or display this data through a chart. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, I will be happy if you'll be uh, if you'll give it a try for Receipt Assistant and if there'll be any questions just uh, uh, reach out to me and I'll be happy to answer uh, any, uh, any queries or questions. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!